UConn has placed a second dormitory under medical quarantine today after several students tested positive for COVID-19. Just this afternoon, UConn officials notified all 96 residents of the Willard C. Eddy Residence Hall that they were being placed under quarantine after four students tested positive for the virus this past week. Nearly 150 UConn students living on the main campus have tested positive for the virus since returning to stores last month. There are currently 51 on campus students who recently tested positive or are suspected to have gotten the virus recently, including 12 students who tested positive since Friday. UConn recently lifted a quarantine at another dorm at Garrigus Suites, while the off campus, the Oaks on the Square Apartments, is also under quarantine due to positive cases. And a dorm at Sacred Heart University in Bridgeport is under quarantine. The school say nine students have tested positive for COVID-19 at Merton Hall, but they are all asymptomatic. There are more than 300 students living in that building. Now, health officials are now saying young people are one of the main driver of the cases in the state. Fox 61's Brian Didlake visited a few universities today and spoke with students. Sacred Heart University is among a few universities in Connecticut to see a recent spike in COVID-19 cases. The university reporting 48 cases in the past seven days, which students say is not as bad as people may think. We haven't been really too worried about it. People have been wearing masks on campus. We just work out and use the field, but I mean, it hasn't really impacted any of us too close besides that. They do have safe houses, I heard, for uh, people that got COVID. And at West Campus, they, they keep people in the hotel, the old hotel. So I guess we'll see what happens. In a report, health officials say young adults between the ages of 20 to 29 have been a huge driver in the uptick in numbers across the state, but students say they disagree and some have already made sacrifices to finish their education. We all switched to online class because we didn't feel like wearing a mask in class and being separated and honestly paying full price tuition to not get the same education, we didn't think it was worth it. Besides the 48 cases seen at Sacred Heart, UConn's store campus has reported 51 current COVID cases, while CCSU reporting 68 cases since August. The number of COVID cases does vary from university to university, but here at Yale in New Haven, the university has only reported two cases within the past week and only 16 since this past August, which students say is a good indicator. They're very open with communication. We get emails all the time on updates. They hold like town halls about the issue and everything. Thomas Duvall is a newcomer to Connecticut from Tennessee, attending Yale's public health program and says he has been impressed on the campus's response to COVID. Our classes specifically in a graduate school, they're pretty much entirely remote. There are a couple classes that they offer on site, uh, but even the ones that they offer on site, they're very spaced out. They have levels and intensity depending on where, what type of student you are and how, how much you're on campus. A friendly reminder from health officials who say students going forward need to remain cautious and aware what they do now can impact numbers. Everyone uh, just be safe and uh, we'll get to this together. Each student, no matter where you go from UConn to Yale, say that either way, they just want to finish out the school year, but say as time progresses, they'll just have to wait and see. We're in New Haven, Brian Ditlake, Fox 61 News.